They will fear the wild. I'll die for this, I don't care. Curious to see how much damage I can do. Ah, never mind. I'll just clear the wave. Eh, guess yes. Alright, what is up? What is going on, guys? It's your boy Chumbles, and I'm back, and this time playing some Inting Scion Topside. Or Top Lane, I guess. And this is a strategy that has essentially been forgotten for the most part. But the original person who did this strategy is still doing it. And he's Diamond 3 with almost a 60% win rate. So it's not like it's dead. It's literally just people have forgotten about it. So going to be playing it once again it is one of my if not like my most viewed video on the channel so it seems like for the most part anyways a good amount of people either enjoyed it or they wanted to see more of it or something but yeah so the idea of the strategy if you guys are new is you literally kill minions uh, early on, I'd say just try and farm because of the new way towers work. So pre five minutes, the tower damage is a lot lower. So I'd say just farm until then. And the reason you want to farm and start W is because you gain extra five HP per minion that you kill, and it's permanent. So you essentially just become a huge tank and you stack a bunch of health items that um, allow you to destroy towers because your, uh, your demolish is based off the amount of health that you have as well as ZZ Rot which is one of your core items. It'd be usually like your fourth item. But still one of the items that you really want to try and get as fast as possible because it's a tower destroyer. And I couldn't even imagine the strategy coming out when Banner of Command was out. Or when it was broken. I don't even think it's an item anymore, actually. I think they just removed it. They're just like, yeah, this was a failed. Failed item. And the thing about this build is a lot of people don't realize Inting Scion can still kill you. <laughs> a lot of people forget that. Like, yeah, he'll be like... 0 oh, and 8 or whatever but that doesn't matter because he still gets so much health he does so much damage still so it really doesn't matter what kind of uh, score he has you can pretty much still just die to him which is pretty insane to think about like this guy he almost died in fact, if I used my pot before I queued, I probably would have killed him. Is he staying? Dodge that. Saw that one coming. Now, the only thing I have to worry about is Skarner coming top. Which I think he might be, but... Okay, he flashed. That's cool. He has TP, why is he staying? Eh. 
And there we go. We should be fine. Oh. We're chilling. And. Oh no. Do we die? We don't die. We're too OP. Ha <laughs> ha. And we should be out. I just have to keep my eye on over here. I'm not gonna look at items because basically anything he hits us with will die. So the first item you want to buy is the Titanic Hydra. Provides so much damage, so you can just keep um, keep killing people. It also helps you clear the waves. Uh. Okay. Well, that sucks. I don't know why he came in. He had, uh... He had <laughs> such little health. Freaking Cho'Gath, dude. But yeah, Titanic Hydra are really good. And then after that, you want to get, well, you want to make sure you get Jarm's Fist before you buy full items because it gives you that permanent health. And then you go into Sterax because OP, just like that. And what? What the game has now, that it didn't have before, was tower platings. So now you actually even get more gold than you did before, which is insane to think about. Granted, it is uh, harder to kill the towers, but getting that extra gold is quite nice. So we're up 20 CS right now. And there we go. Also, I don't know if I really spoke about the runes that I'm taking. So I'm taking Alacrity and Last Stand so I can do more damage to, uh... Oh, no way. <laughs> he actually ulted me to stop me from getting this tower plate in. Also, he's dumb because he should be letting this hit the tower and kill the tower plating since I'm not up. <laughs> But yeah, that's the threat that you pose with this champ. So yeah, um, go for a last stand because you gain more damage the lower you are. And when you have 30%, so it's, let me read it. So it's um, max damage gained at 30% health. So when you have 30% of your total health, which when you have like, four to like 5k health by like 30 minutes that's still a shit ton of health so you're gaining so much damage early on or not early on but like later that honestly people trying to fight you is gonna be like close to impossible now the only thing that's bad about this strategy is right now there's a decent amount of ranged top laners which I'm not sure if Riot plans to try and nerf or whatever but that's that's what we're seeing right now oh he shouldn't have ulti yeah he doesn't have ult he doesn't have ult because he uses it on me. <laughs> oh, 
Also, uh, for those that don't know, Cyan's actually getting buffed next patch with his AD, so even more damage. But I'll also be excited to play full AD Scion again. I'll become the new Tiltarella for you guys. Since it doesn't seem like he uploads that much, which is kind of sad, because I like his videos. He knocked me out of range, dude. Oh my god. Why are you knocking him away? You have ulti, just ulti him. Ulti him towards me, <laughs> don't knock him away from me. Jesus. Okay, got the tower plating. I'll die for this, I don't care. Curious to see how much damage I can do. Ah, never mind. I'll just clear the wave. Eh, got a CS. So yeah, now we buy that, and now we buy this. Uh... Sterex, buy this. Now we have all the HPs. But yeah, he knocked him away, which doesn't help. Like, he was just literally out of my IQ range. So I couldn't do too much about that. Alright, cool, cool. Now we have Titanic, we have a lot of damage. Please give me this. So I'm going to be the one split pushing. Thank you. Yeah, since I'm going to be the one splitting, I think it's better on me. Actually, I don't know. Does Rift work while I'm dead? I don't think it does. I mean, it'd be kind of risky to use it anyways, because it's pretty a pretty long charge uh, charge up, so I think his cooldowns would be back even if he even if he uses them, and then I use it I think it'd still be back, so it's no point. Oh, okay. He used ulti. Ah, ah, ah. Where are they? I don't know if it's a bait if Skarner wastes his ulti. Um, drags up in two. This guy just go back. Nice damage, Omega Lol. I think we go back here. So we push that in. So. 
There we go, bot side. Feels good, man. Oh. <clears throat> Yikes. Wait, how did they die? Wait, how did they die? She must have gotten ulted? I'd assume. I don't see how else they'd really die. Use ulti to clear wave here. I can kill this guy with just auto attacks. There we go. Ah, uh, she has move speed. I'm gonna push this wave though. Oh man, if I got one more auto, oh, no. that would have been good. That was, uh, that was close. We got, we got a kill there, plus like three or four waves. So it's definitely worth it for us. Now let's go for ZZ Rot. ZZ Rot's nice because we don't have to buy boots since we're going to be going for towers. It just allows us to gain a whole bunch of move speed near all the dead towers, which if you're playing Split Push Scion, towers are going to be dead. Oh, looks like they're getting a pick mid. Also, if I take like a Cho'Gath and force him to stay in the side lane, that means they basically just lose a tank. And he's not gonna out split push me. So, it's another reason I really like doing this, uh, this kind of build. Also, I just like split pushing and it pisses people off. <laughs> Especially the other team. Can't tell you how many times people have raged at me. Because I've been playing this, uh, playing this build. Is it just Skarner? I assume not. Yeah, no, there's no way. They're all... Uh, maybe. Actually. Oh my god, he almost walked right back into it. Oh, CC? Ah. Uh, it's a good try. We can kill this. Okay, maybe not with four people here. Okay. I mean, for a 1v4, and I get a bunch of damage on tower, I'll take it. Actually, 2v4. Bard was there. He tried his best. And our team actually has a brain, so... Instead of chasing topside, they went mid. So, nice. Very well done, team.
I like it. Let's see the other stats here. We got a hundred and uh, uh or one fifteen and a hundred. Uh, but yeah, three k HP right now. We have three k HP. Twenty minutes into the game. Pretty gross stuff. If that was 2v2, we could have killed them, but um, it went from 2v2 to 2v4 real quick. Back to what I was doing. <laughs> we easily kill that guy, so I don't know. He uh, just wasn't respecting it, I guess. <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about. He literally can't do anything. Plus with all my minions there, he just starts taking minion aggro, but I mean, as, as Trogath, he's not going to take too much damage anyways. There goes that inhib, and this game is practically just over at this point. We're just macroing too hard on these guys. Um, let's just grab this, because I think my team's going to go for the drag. Honestly, I don't even think their team can really hold the... Uh, hold the minions. In fact, maybe I should just ward it here. Yeah, this is gonna destroy towers. Actually, Sivir can hold it. I didn't think she would have enough lifesteal, but with the wave there, she has enough damage to kill them before it kills her. And I'm pretty sure this red is up. Yep. Also, Inting Scion is actually really good to play when your team is losing it too, because you essentially pull people away from your team, which helps your teammates catch up, and if they don't, then you just take towers, which also helps your team catch up in gold. So that's why this build is like, it's pretty consistent, like with how, how it works. Some games you'll have teams that just don't listen to you um, and don't like just understand macro at all and those are the games that are feels bad but oh, that guy I literally got a double kill as Inton Scion Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Boom! Oh my god, we literally almost one-shot that tower. <laughs> uh. In the final hit, too. Alright, boys, well, that's the end of the game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure to hit the like button, comment down below, and subscribe if you're new. And hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.